Let me tell you the story of the journey I went on to watch some sapphic content. I've always had feelings for you. I still do. You be the judge of whether it was worth it or not. <laughs> I don't know if it was, but who knows? Sapphic content is sapphic content, right? <laughs> so I was watching Free Day TV and I saw an ad for this Australian TV show, Five Bedrooms. So the premise of the story is like, there's five strangers, essentially. They're all single ish and they decide to all go in and buy a house together like they split it five ways and then it's obviously just you know the the tales and the dramas of them all living together one of the main characters liz she was one of the women that i saw in the promo so i was like okay well this will be interesting to see i guess how she goes through that discovery because she is like a recently divorced woman she's just divorced from her husband and she's going through a whole bunch of stuff like bankruptcy and stuff like that yeah it's dramatic so jumping into season three, this is where the storyline plays out. It kind of plays out through the whole season. Okay, so we've got Liz, she's a main character. Her best friend, Harry, he's also gay and he's a main character in the whole series. He's another one of the um, five people that buy this house. So at the start of season three, we meet this couple. We meet Jerry and Sam. They're wives and they rent uh, a room from these people, from Liz and Harry, because they're renting it out as an Airbnb. It was the worst accommodation experience we've ever had. I can imagine more restful sleeps in actual war zones. Jerry and Liz actually go way back. They're old colleagues and they're kind of like frenemies. They're friends, they're really close friends. And Liz goes on about how Jerry is probably one of her closest friends, but they've also had this really competitive, trying to one each other one up each other and like there's really, not really friends, but like they're close. On paper they're friends, but not really. <laughs> I have lost count of the number of times I've come second to this woman. She's dwarfed my every achievement for two decades. Anyway, so that's how Jerry and Sam find out about this Airbnb, because they're bougie, right? They're, they're not gonna rent an Airbnb. <laughs> but they're doing it to help Liz because Liz is going back to school. She's getting her masters. She's a lawyer, she's fancy, right? And so Jerry's like, yeah, we know this room is helping Liz fund her um, school. So we're gonna do it. Liz is an old friend and I know that room is helping to fund her degree, so. Cutting to the chase. They're actually in town interviewing donors because Jerry and her wife, Sam, are looking to have a baby and they're interviewing donors because they want the donor to be a part of the baby's life. Enter Harry. Harry has had a lot of issues with relationships previously and he's a big family guy, right? He really wants a family, he wants kids. You know, I think one of the reasons I was so scared of coming out was because I knew it would make it harder to have kids. And so he gets along really well with Jerry and he is sort of like, they decide to, have a baby together. <laughs> Harry is going to be the donor. He's going to be a part of the kid's life. All happy days. Liz was supposed to move back to the UK, right? She's only back in Australia for a holiday while she's getting her results for her big master's test that she did. But with this news that Harry wants to be a dad, have a kid, obviously Jerry is one of Liz's friends. She's like, I think I might stay in Australia and, you know, be a part of this kid's life. I want to be, you know, Auntie Liz. Liz is absolutely locked in for Auntie duties. So she's like fully investing herself now. And this is where the drama happens, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited because I love this. When Liz is saying that she's probably going to stick around, Sam, Jerry's wife, gets a bit cold. And you're like, what is going on now? I have never seen Sam look more uncomfortable. We both know that's saying something. Because up until now, Liz is straight, right? She has exhibited no sapphic tendencies <laughs> in the previous three seasons. Turns out Jerry has had like feelings for Liz since the start of their friendship. She's like been in love with Liz forever. I've always had feelings for you. But she's never done anything about it because she knew Liz was straight. So there was no point. She's just gonna had to get over it and move on. Sam has kind of like picked up on this vibe that Jerry 
does have feelings for Liz. And so when Sam realizes that Liz isn't just gonna go back to the UK, she's gonna stick around and be a part of their kid's life, she's not too keen. They just seem freaked out by the idea of me being anywhere near their unborn child. And then of course, the drama gets even more intense. Now I will say at this point, I went on holidays to New Zealand for my birthday. And New Zealand doesn't have Paramount Plus. And I was stressing because you know what? I was invested. I was like, damn, this is leading up to someone and I'm excited. <laughs> and thankfully that's where NordVPN comes into play. They have been kind enough to sponsor this video. So like I mentioned, when I was over in New Zealand, I realized I didn't have access to Paramount Plus because they don't have it over there yet. But I was able to jump onto an Australian server and it looked like I was back home and I was still able to watch five bedrooms from New Zealand. So even when I'm traveling, I still have access to all the shows that I would typically have on the streaming services when I'm in a country that doesn't necessarily have it. It works for other things like a YouTube video that might be blocked in your region. You can jump over to other server and gain access to it that way. And NordVPN is much more than just a VPN. They have like all these other cool features. For example, they have this really cool threat protection feature that you can use without having to actually connect to a server. They also have a NordPass product, which is a password manager. They also have NordLocker, which is an encrypted cloud storage. So if you're interested, go to my link nordvpn.com forward slash alexvpn. And if you get the two year deal, you'll get an extra month on top of that, plus extra subscription time on top of that. Plus there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So check out that link, but let's get back into my recap. So Sam is, <sighs> she's out essentially. She's like, nah, I'm not into it. I'm not gonna have this kid if this is gonna be a constant thing. So it's kind of like left as a question mark, but I think they're still together. Sam's just like not into it. She goes back to Sydney and they're sort of like fighting Sam and Jerry. Liz is trying to figure out what is going on. Cause she's like, surely I haven't caused this, right? And that's when Jerry opens up to Liz about her feelings and about what is going on. I don't hate you, well, Liz. What is it? <sighs> the truth is, Much closer to the opposite of hate. <sighs> and then after all this, Liz kisses her. <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you. Honestly, this is gonna be one of the most awkward kisses that I have ever seen. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we just did kissed you, my camera. Did, 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 did. It was just, oh no. Like uh, the build up to this kiss, I was here for it. I was like, oh man, this could be good. And to be honest, when I saw the promo, I didn't actually see it. Like I saw it from the corner of my eyes, but I didn't actually see the kiss. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is what I just spent. How many hours of my life leading up to? But whatever, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It was a very quick kiss. It could have intentionally been awkward, right? Moving on. Liz is just kind of like, just a mess, right? She's just a mess to begin with. And this whole situation, she doesn't deal with it very well. She kind of like ghosts Jerry. Jerry ends up breaking up with Sam because she's like, oh, I just like, can't right this kiss has just escalated feelings it's not fair so she breaks up with sam the kid thing is off obviously but she's at this point not expecting anything from liz still and then they end up talking this is like the part in the promo where she's like i i kind of liked it right i i felt something when we kissed I was like, okay, okay, so, okay, where is this gonna go? They end up going on a date together. It's awkward still, it's very awkward, though I think it's intentionally awkward, this date. Liz is just a very awkward person, I think. It was weird, I felt it, but not till it was halfway out and I couldn't cut it off, that would have been even weirder, so I had to keep going, but it's over now, so let's just find a moment of gratitude for that. But then they go back to, I think it's like Jerry's place or Liz's place, I don't know, they go back to a room, right? And they kiss again and it's, I feel like it's supposed to be like really sensual and like, I don't know, <laughs> the way, like Jerry puts her hand on Liz's face and <laughs> the way that Liz leans into it, I died. <laughs> it was so, I think this kiss, this scene was more awkward than the first one. I really did not enjoy it. But 
they sleep together that night, okay? And then again, Liz doesn't deal with that very well. I think I'm actually more confused. Cause you know what? She's also still married, right? She did have an ex-husband in the first season, but sometime in season two, they get back together. <laughs> but she's cheating on him. And then she's kind of like dragging Jerry along. Like Jerry's like, what's going on? Like, how are you feeling? We both know the ball was in your court, Liz. You know, are we putting an end to this? What's happening? And and Liz kind of doesn't turn her down. She's like, oh, you know, I just don't want to do anything more until I talk to my husband. I think his name's Stuart or something. I don't know. Stuart, of course, my husband. Jerry's like, yeah, you know, that's fair. That's that's totally fair. I'm going to be here for you, though, when you do that. No matter how that ends, I'm going to be here for you. You know, however he reacts, I'll be on the other side of that call. <sighs> Harry ends up finding out, right, that Liz is just fucking up everyone's life. And Harry finally confronts Liz and is like, you've got to like sort this shit out. Like you, you're essentially like causing a car crash and you won't stop driving. <laughs> so we kind of end the season with Liz ending up coming clean to Jerry that she doesn't think she's gonna be together with her after she talks to her husband. I just, I wanted to tell you straight away. Well, that would have been two weeks ago. She's not sure though. She just, she doesn't know. Cause they have this conversation in the last episode where Liz is like, I still don't know what my sexuality is. I still know, don't know what the deal is. We didn't have this conversation with like the other housemates where another one of them, she was like, oh yeah, I dabbled. And I was like, you know what? I would have loved to see that. <laughs> Cause she's hot as well. <laughs> But yeah, so we are getting a season four of this show. I think it it potentially should be coming out this year. I don't know what the deal is with this. I mean, I I feel like they've set it up, you know, that's the end of Jerry's storyline. Like they potentially could not bring her back at all and it would make sense, you know? Like it was just an experiment or Liz was just trying to like blow up her life because she doesn't know what she's doing. She's having like a midlife crisis. So they could go down that route or they could continue down the route of her exploring her sexuality. But to be honest, I don't know if I really want that because I don't know if the actress is very comfortable kissing women. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll have to see what season four brings. Regardless, I will keep you guys in the loop if there is anything sapphic that happens. But yeah, that's it from me. If you haven't yet, check out the video here that's on the screen, subscribe if you're new. Otherwise I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.